Abelard, could you be please so nice and finish off this mission? Oh, wow, this is the first time when actually Abelard missed. This this was the first time. Listen to the man. Welcome back to Warhammer 40,000 Rogue Trader. I mean, matter does a man. <laughs> Last time we defeated the boss. <laughs> Aurora is no longer. Because Manoris should be safe from heresy for now. If the people, if the governor will allow heresy once again to settle on this world, I'll come back and I'll kill you on the spot, Governor Mediacht. <laughs> you sound critical from the start. But, well, okay, what exactly I have to do right now? <laughs> because I'm not sure. There's a victory. Uh, do it unfortunate business before the triumphant. Oh, okay, so I have to go to the uh, to the flagship. Okay. Anything else? The usual behavior of servitors should be discussed with the high factorum gen gen generis Dan Danrock. Who's responsible for all the assets on board of the voice ship? Oh, so I have to go to back to the voice ship basically at this point. Hmm. I don't think this is going to be useful anything over here. According to Satellites, one of the unidentified void ships circling the nearby star has landed on a large uninhabited ward in the system. Okay, that sounds like a job for me. And also, <laughs> I've leveled up again. Uh, I don't think I got. Oh, I forgot to level up you up by a lot. Yeah, and the new and the new party member as well. Yeah, she got level four, and the other party members have level thirteen. I think I actually should probably focus on improving you a little bit, don't I? Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, let's see. Uh fellowship. Yeah, let's go with this one. Why not? Yes, yes, yes. I want to go with this one. Pick it. Hello, picking it. Uh Enemies damaged by navigators of a... Mm, that's not gonna happen. Mastery of time. Creatures in combat gains extra turn. The navigator gains a stacking bonus to willpower until the end of combat. I don't know which one is like the best. So that's all turns, including extra turns, with three additional movement points. That's actually not such a bad idea, especially if I have to change like location very quickly here to provide someone else with the with the with the additional turn. Every, every enemy in Navigator's uh, has in the line of sight has his dodge and hit chance resist by. Nah, that's also would be pretty nice. Perception. In her line of sight. Hmm. Every uh, every event turn, second, fourth, and so on, the Navigator gains additional action point. Every odd turn, the Navigator gains perception bonus. Huh. There is so much, I just, there's so much stuff I can go through, and I, like, reading through all of this, like, if this would be, like, the hardest difficulty, then probably I would have to sit with a book, like, with a notepad or something like that, and actually try to go through this shit, but thankfully it's not. The first ally target by the navigators uh, with a single target ability, each turn gains the same amount of additional movement points as of the turn. Enemies affected by the navigator's ability suffer a stacking penalty. Uh, enemy moved ability, stable routes. Whatever the navigator uses, a navigator ability. Fail degradation is reduced by. Okay, that's pretty useful. I think. Since I actually got problems with the. <laughs> Since I actually got problems with the fucking veil. Yeah, I think I'm actually gonna stick to my to my original idea. The guide of souls. Like if if I have to move her behind cover, this would be the way to go. If I have to get her closer to uh, to myself, well she got additional movement point. If I have to, for example, get her closer to Abelard, well, this is the way to go. Uh crap, this is gonna be more of this crap, isn't it? Oh shit! Which one to go? Which one to pick? Oh wait, I can pick abilities again. Hmm. I can pick abilities again. You don't say. Okay, wait. Uh, I think it was this one. The other one I wanted to have. Power deals additional damage for every five bonus characteristics of negative quantity equipped staff. <laughs> oh, I really want this thing. Yeah, I was actually thinking about that thing, but then again... 
Uh, if his perception is higher than uh, agility, the dodge is calculated to perception instead. Ooh. What's your perception? 50. What's your agility? 30. Yes! Definitely a go through. Definitely, definitely a go away too. Uh, we're gonna go with willpower, I guess. Yeah, because, well, willpower. Ah, crap, now we got this shit. Oh my god. Which ability I'm supposed to pick? I don't know. I really don't know. Huh? What's this one at the end? All creatures in a 3x3 zone must pass a willpower resistance test or immediately move out of the zone. Even they are... Ooh! Oh, hey, this is this is a good one to basically fl flash enemies out of the uh, out of cover. This this is awesome! Holy shit! Let's go with this one. And what else we should try to go? Improvements. You already have this feature. I cannot have it twice. <laughs> really? <laughs> well, that's bullshit. Wait, enemies moved by the navigator's ability. Moved by the navigator's ability so far. So this would go really well with the ability I've just picked. This is awesome! Hell yeah! Oh crap, all of this thing. <sighs> if only I would remember which one was the... Actually, I should have, I should have like, put the stars, the ones I wanted to pick, but no! Why should I? Finest hour! Oh, great. The target of, uh, the, target of the finest hour gets more bonuses. Guns and ally in an extra turn with the full APM during the extra turn, there is no attack limit hmm this would, this would go really well for Abelard if you think about that during their extra turn target deals more damage all negative effects are immediately removed from the target temporary wounds at the end of the com uh, end of combat during the extra turn or oh, the all their non-attacking abilities cost minus one action point. That's I don't think that's going to be good that good. This one would be very nice. Drink uh the target deals officers officers fell bonus. Yeah, this this could go this could go really well, I guess. So I would have 40, that'll be 20% more damage. On a sniper rifle? That could that could go really well, I think. So I need to go with willpower, and I cannot. Okay, well that's a that's a pain in the ass. Uh, not this thing, commerce. Hmm. Well, I should be actually be the, the guy with commerce from the from the from what I remember. Awareness. Yeah, let's go with commerce. I guess maybe that's going to be useful. Now, which one should be the next one? I should try to pick. She gets bonuses from Fellowship, if I recall, right? From the previous ability. Uh, yeah. So, Fellowship? fellowship? Fell. Oh! Oh, you mean from everything that's related to Fell? Wait, what? During the ne the target deals... Three times officer's Fell bonus. But from this thing or from all of those things? I don't know, but I, I think this is actually going to be... Wait, this time's free. It's time's free. So this is... So this will be... 40. Wait, did I calculate this thing right? It's going to be 100 and something plus damage? Jesus Christ! <laughs> That's a lot! Oh my god! Next thing I should probably like just focus on getting a little bit tougher. And I was thinking about this thing. Mine over matter. Now we get to make all the sense tests with the willpower. So put all of those shits into willpower and fellowship, and we should be fine. So yeah, go with this one. Uh yeah, willpower, obviously. Duh, because we are we are benefiting from benefiting from this thing even more, so obviously. Uh okay. I think I saw when I was looking for the previous one, I think I saw like a Good talent over here somewhere. Was it what's point of authority or something like that? Point of something, I don't remember. Oh, did I already have the one? one? Yeah. Do I already have you? Was it this one? All enemies in a 
6 still reduces around the target point most pass all power resistance tests on a midweek move 3 cells towards the, that point. Oh, yes, more movement points. Yes, 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 yes. Moving people out of cover. This is the biggest shit I was facing, I think, a few fights ago. ago. So right now, this is just going to be a breeze. It's going to be, it's going to be so easy. Uh, every enemy in Navigators has uh, has a line of sight. Yeah, I was thinking about this one, like, a few, few levels ago. And I think from the other options that I currently have, from all of the things I have checked so far, this is, like, one of the, the better ones. So, because now this thing has sense, right? I can use my abilities so that the enemies will go outside of their cover and this thing will basically lower their, their defenses. So then Abelard and myself can take take them out with a sniper rifle. So yeah, she's going to be... She's she's not going to do a lot of damage on her on her own. But the idea here that she buffs, she gives me additional turn and she will force enemies out of their cover. Like this is this is her gimmick. This is, this is the shit that she's responsible to do. Oh fuck, the small levels. Oh, why there's so many levels? Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> why did I keep leveling so fast? Oh. I have two more things I could try to actually pick, and I've actually marked them this time with a star. On the end of combat, enemies damaged by the navigators suffer additional plus five damage from all attacks of opportunity and cannot dodge them. This could actually be good, I think, for, for like boss enemies. And then we get this shit. The navigator gains plus five fellowship and additional plus one fellowship for every navigator telepoint or navigator power taken. I took them few. 24 plus. Oh, ho, 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 ho. yes. Uh, fuck this shit again. Uh, mm. Commerce, I guess. The person had a talent to manipulate other people. Yeah, this could also be nice, I guess. Let's take this one. Uh, tough. Oh, I cannot pick the other ones. Oh, really? That sucks. That really sucks. Shit. Really? Maybe I can go back, change this. Will it actually matter if I'm gonna cha change this thing? I mean... Maybe? Does it? Really not sure. Hmm. Ah, let's go with perception. I'm gonna need like additional per uh, person to do perception tests anyway. And the other thing I wanted to pick was this thing. Yeah, so, for, so that's for the boss fights. There we go! Ah. Fully done! Level 14, now we are talking! Yeah, her hit points didn't increase, I did. <laughs> oh, great. But anyway, back at the void ship. Uh, what's this? Start point. Oh, okay. <laughs> There it is. The unified void ship. This is the shit I wanted to check. And also we wanted to go over here. Not explode. Scan as required. Ah, and then it went also over here. Oh yeah, because this is Rick at Minoris. And I wanted to go to Rick's Mayoris. Probably. Maybe. Alright, let's see. Husband. What we have here, Lord Cap, is not very noticeable. But there is a void ship sitting in the local asteroid field. It's... It sure is quiet. Like it's huddled up and then it's on purpose. It's not like I'm su surprised. The thing is more s scrap heaped than ship at this point. Somebody sure went to town, town on it. We had a resistance in critical damage on the hull and the pressurization on several compartments. Oh, there's an incoming transmission now too. Ragged void ship. Hear us? Do not require assistance. Do not require assistance. Copy. Keep falling. They'll pass us by one day. Emperor protects. What? Lord Captain, I'm told our Argus cannot determine the allegiance of the vessel. To be brief, there's an unidentified or badly damaged vessel within the asteroid field near the Rikad Philippia colony that is refusing help, which, not to put to final point, has not yet been offered to them. Ravor, we can establish communication. Let the vessel identify itself. Yes, old captain. The connection is established. Unknown vessel, we are receiving you. Identify yourself. I repeat, identify yourself. Do not tell them. Tell him. We are done for. This is Tunerf. Tunerfank. We are. One of the voices faltered in the city and, uh, and surprised by another. A merchant vessel. Do you copy? We are a private chant vessel. A merchant vessel? Of course they are. <laughs> Damn my stupid head. 
Where did I hear this name before? Thunderfang. Cover. Damage report on the unknown vessel. Thunderfang. Why can we not identify you? Why? I don't know. We. What if? Certainly not. Our vessel is badly damaged. In preventing the correct hit in the identification, we assure you. Careful, merchant vessel. Thunderfang does not require aid. Whispering dice and a clear, yachtful voice cuts through the static. Okay, so they don't sound like orcs. But obviously something is wrong over here. Damage on the unknown vessel. Telemetry shows multiple hull bridges, most likely caused by the gods of a combat ship. Several compartments are leaking air. The bridge has been almost completely obliterated. Two of the engines are critically damaged. Somebody gave them a thrashing so solid they barely managed to limp away. Turn the fact, your vessel is badly damaged. What happened to you? The Vox is spawned by Brustic in the catafranc of sounds, words, and em emotions. Someone chuckles briefly, another swears with some foul ex expeditives, and yet another hisses, firstly demanding that the others sh shut up. You managed to make out a little from that noise. We're just flying, minding our own business, straight out of the blue and opened fire. Miracle, we could get away! Emperor protect! And then, more fire? Who? Void only knows. Rusted our tail, but more I think, the folk of our folk are left without our help. We never got to them. Turn the fact. Stop playing games and explain again what is your business in here, and this time I highly recommend the truth. Happy now? What I have done? Diot! It is too late now. The Vox channel is uh, again filled with angry whisperings of several voices. Do you copy? We are from the Fellow of the Void. We do not come here to lot on a different business. To help our own out of jail. Do not hurt something. We already had our crowns cleaned. How about striking a deal? Our cult is full of plunder. I mean goods. Plunder. Pirates! In case you are unaware, Lord Captain, the Fellowship of the Void is a disorderly assembly of several dozen pirate factions in the crown's expense. They consider themselves above regular herit heretics solely because they sometimes have Vox conversations with those who they are about to board. Were it up to me, I would make them eat a salvo from the microcanon to shake the scum loose from the decks. They said they deserved it. Oh, look who showed up on the bridge. I would like to destroy the vessel if I were you. Although the moral aspect of life could cause some awkward questioning, the Fellowship of the Void remains a major supplier of goods to the local market. Perhaps you'll find dealing with them acceptable, especially in a situation where performing a warp jump is impossible. Oh. Okay, well he has a point. I'm a rock trader. I need to have I need to have eyes and ears everywhere. The Fellowship of the Void remains a major supplier of goods to the local market. Perhaps you will find dealing with them acceptable, especially in a situation where performing a warp jump is impossible. Well, considering that recently we didn't even have a navigator on, on, the, on board. Let's exchange goods together. Ah, so this is another faction I could try to make relations with. Ooh, the weather, the weather's range attacks increases their target dodge by... Ooh, this is pretty nice. Flamer? This is like a proper flamer, I guess. Huh. Reputation. Oh, okay. I can build reputation with you if I really want to. Do you have something? Power mall. Huh. Okay. Dodge reduction to the whereas melee array attacks. Oh, this would go really well for Abelard. Medal of electricity. When the whereas targets an ally with the bring it down ability for the first time in combat, that ally gains plus additional action point. Hmm. Heavy letter armor. Dodge penalty, 0-4. I mean, looks pretty nice. Can I buy this shit? I'm still not sure... Initial, a bit, uh... I'm still not sure how this thing works. Like, I can buy all of this crap?
Profit factors. The best about the relative value of rogue trades, the variant of trade, and what opportunities and resources is called upon. Yeah, some from the looks of it, I can buy all of this crap. It's not decreasing, so yeah, let's get the let's get the charges as well. Let's get the flamer. Flamer, why not? It's still 17. Okay, that's nice. Uh, do you want to give you something? I mean, I could give you a bunch of stuff if I really want to. I mean, I got a lot of crap. And I say a lot of crap. <laughs> a lot, a lot, a lot of crap. But okay, maybe maybe next time. Yeah, okay, I think we're done. So this is this is a trade ship. Can I speak? Oh, I can just speak with you again. Oh, that's nice. Okay, so that's one thing done. Now, let's actually go over here and see what we're gonna find here. Oh, it's just an asteroid. You can scan. The fuck? The prison planetoid. Opening the map of Chronos Expense. The Chronos Expense is a vast region of space where you travel between the Vizar systems. In each system, unique events can occur. By steering your flagship towards them, you can explore planets, study anomalies, switch the map of area, area, area. Prison at prison planetoid. Okay, well, let's go and uh, introduce ourselves. Hey, looks for once I landed and nothing's trying to shoot me down. That's progress. Huh? What? There we go. Hey. <laughs> wow, a crate for me just to loot. Huh, oh, scopes. Well, thanks for that shit. Okay, why the. Oh, fuck. That's a mark of chaos. That's not good. That's really not good. Come in! Come in! Come in! Escort! This is Captain Vixen. Escort, please! Come in! I want to skip this shit. The young pale woman looks at you with a mixture of hope and disability swinging in her eyes. You notice her hands trembling as he clutches her weapon. Wh who are you? Did you come? Did you come from the planet? Are there reinforcements? Saint Steve, I thought you'd never come. I'm glad teach this riffraff the proper way of addressing her sovereign. <laughs> Maybe not this time. I have no time for long whittling talks. Brief me on the situation ahead. Uh, tell me about this planetoid. The understand by Norikot Pilifia is the penal colony. This, the prisoners work in the mines and doom at quarries. They mine sulfur, serma dust, and sand, which is then melted down. A rather nondescriptive place. Also, it was, prior to the current events. What happened here? Prison riot and applied it, and they, Okay, lead by the prison warden himself. The prison warden himself? He has allied himself with the rubble that he himself was supposed to watch and declared the Ricard Pilifia to be independent authority of the system lawful governor. <laughs> oh. I came here as a shuttle pilot alongside the Honorable Evian Winterscale, son of Caligus Winterscale, road trader. Vacation of Sinos for the triumph over the enemies of humanity. Oh, so you wanna tell me? That the son of a rival rogue trader is on this planetoid and is currently kept, I'm guessing, held captive <laughs> by the rebels? Young Lord Winterske wished to speak to the warden personally so he could put an end to his lover's trench and he and his escort went ahead and... I haven't been able to contact them over the Vox for a very long time. You were to, uh, were late to arrive on record... Oh. Decision conse consequence. Wait, I was too late to arrive here? Oh... Why would Young Winterscale have felt the need to parley with the descendants? Oh, that works. Yeah, this is the thing that was mentioned by the game before. Like... I think when I got Cassia, the game mentioned me to me that it was a good decision to go there first, because otherwise the situation could go a lot worse. So where you go... Gives you different results? If I'm gonna be slacky, if I'm gonna pick like wrong... Oh. Oh, that changes a lot. It's a person no matter, Master Cassidia Decidious Warden is Lord Evidence's childhood friend. 
When my lord had the right, he knew suddenly him greatly, so he rushed here without delay. The first with the scale in my memory who prefers to talk first rather than shoot and slash. Young Lord Winterscale is not his father's shadow. If, if, <laughs> well, he's dead. He won't be back down. I pray to the throne that he is alive and well. He's been gone for such a long time, and I really don't like this place. Cassia throws in confusion. Tell about it, excuse his wife and only son to the mere suspicions of treason against House of Aurelio. So, why did the noble Everain rush to save someone who had betrayed his house? Do bonds of friendship give one the right to make inexcusable inex mistakes? The one that himself is spreading this riot? Yes. No one expect he, Master Kerrigan is an honorable one from a respected governor house and a vassal of House Winterscale. All of a sudden, he proclaims that Richard Pilfia was now his personal domain, that the prisoners were his subjects, and that he would never bow to anyone again. It's pure heresy. Well, there's a fucking heresy sign over there. Is this prison riot connected to the planetary rebellion? It seems more likely uh, that Warden Casiliga learned about the rebellion of Rikas Minoris and decided to use the situation to his advantage. I can't say for certain. Perhaps no one can. Governor Media has always preferred to shoot rebels rather than inquire about their motives and connections. <laughs> well, he has a point in that. Is there anything else I should be a pro prize before I set out? Some of the rebels have holed up in the barracks. I don't know how many. But given that there is only uh, only way through to where the ne negotiations are taking place, I would expect heavy resistance. Please take caution, your lordship. Lord Winterscale guards mine at the entrance so that the rebels couldn't get to the shuttle. Uh huh. The woman freezes for a moment before asking, Your lordship, if I may have a minute of your time, I haven't ever dared to trouble you with, with a personal matter about the situation. In any case, have you, uh, have you been to the capital of Rickard Minoris yet? I wanted to ask if you saw a man there, a communication officer by the name of Jasper. I met Jasper at the airport and saved his life. I expected some show of gratitude. You may name your firstborn after me. <laughs> or whatever that is. <laughs> whatever that the commoners <laughs> do to think. <laughs> Fuck their heroes. Uh... You don't need to worry, Jasper is alive. You can imagine how much I needed to hit that, thank you. She bows. You can tell by her expression in her eyes that she is exhausted, frightened, and wishes to be off this planetoid as soon as possible. Well, rest assured, Servant of the God Emperor has arrived, and I'll make a quick job of the rebels here. So, it looks like the rebels decided to feel themselves a little bit comfortable around here. Uh, let's see. Anybody wants to disarm this shit? Anybody? <laughs> Anybody wants to get some bonus points? <laughs> In the Rogue Trader Journal? No, nobody? <laughs> Come on, boys, don't be shy! Okay, let me disarm this shit. Perfect. Oh, yeah, I also forgot completely about the chat, actually. Okay, successfully disarmed. What a surprise! What the fuck is this? This is guard post have been va vacant for a long time. There's a layer of dust on the... For some time. If there is dust already on that shit, then it actually been some time here. Huh. Okay, I really don't know what to expect here. Just in case. Okay, so we have to go over. There's a bunch of chests on that side, so I have to remember that thing. To the barracks, this! Okay. Oh! Oh, shit! Oh, fuck! That was close! Good thing! Okay, apparently this place is just rigged with traps. Send, send the rogue trader. We have to disarm all of this thing. Jesus, the small. How many traps are here? <laughs> extensive blood loss. Yes, 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 yes. I know, I know. Listen. I know that you're listening. Listen, Pascal, I really adore you, I love you, like one of the best, but can you please shut up? Not every one of us has a toaster built in his chest, okay? Alright, that'll be one. This is this trap, I guess. Okay, take a look around, but just don't rush too much. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Well, 
shit. Alright, I'm a little bit fucked up. You have been ambushed, too bad the, the battle begins. So what, I don't have it, I don't get the, oh, you, the enemy starts first. <laughs> and I've sent the wrong trader up front. Oh wait, oh actually, oh, whew, I thought for a second I won't, <laughs> I won't get any bonuses here. Okay, can I? Oh wait, that's, the, the, the fight just starts, okay. Cover the wrong trader. Immediately, there's more of them over here, holy shit. Okay, so Gemini spends all the up and against bonus to cover efficiency. Uh that's nice, but get over here. Will be Covering fire! The nice! That'll be one! Okay, gun and run, movement points. Next attack costs one action point less and does not count towards the attack limit per turn. Hey, let's go with this one. Okay, can you can you just can you just spray them and hope that something's actually that gonna get hit? Let's give the try, shall we? Ah, well that, that was a complete waste of time. Alright, get more momentum. Uh next range attack made by the soldier does no damage and has additional dodge reduction. Ah, I should I forgot completely about this skill actually. Oh well. Uh oh! <laughs> I dodged a frag grenade explosion! <laughs> uh oh. Ow! Heretics! Every single one of you will die! I will make sure of that! And uh, before that, though, I'm gonna action on the way. Alright, so let's see what we got. And as enemies. Hmm. Next attack against the target effective by exploit target is. Uh, covered efficiency will be reduced. Hmm. Affected by exploit. Ah, exposed. No, that's exposed weakness. Perfect shot. When covered, the operative gains efficiency, perception, and ballistic skills. There we go. Now, I got two more action points to spend, so let's just actually start to fire, okay? Uh, hit chance of um, effective distance. Single shot with equipped weapon. Movement point, action point. Yeah, we'll be fine. Fire! 42. <laughs> Suck it, you enemy! Suck it! Uh... Okay, let's go with this one. Okay, hopefully my coverage will be good. And can I do some exp exposure over here? That'll be one. And from the looks of it, I cannot do anything else. Oh, here they come. Prisoner. Yeah, pick a number and stand in the line, please. Every single one of you. Uh-huh, if you say so. Pascal! I need you. I really need you. Yeah, get over here and cast this thing. Here. Just in case. Okay, good. Everybody got buffed. Let's see. Machine Spirit Banishment. Yeah, that's not going to help me at all. All allies. Until a little bit of next turn, that allies attack us. Uh, so so. Okay, that, sh that should be nice. Okay, I cannot actually fire because I'm out of points. So just analyze enemies, I guess. Can I throw analyze towards. Can't throw it over there. Okay, just, just stack it on that guy. I don't care. Just, just stack it. Okay, time for the priestess. Can I move you here and basically start spamming uh, additional action points, uh, additional turns for the for the sniper though? Oh, that means we need. Oh, yeah, I forgot we actually have the skills to move them out of cover. And this shit is apparently not something that's gonna cause chaos. From the looks of it. Now that's very, very good, isn't it? Uh okay, so let's move you here. All enemies in a 60 radius around the target must uh, pass a willpower resistance. Okay, so that won't work. All creatures in a 3 by 3 zone must pass a power... Uh, okay. Ah, so that's how it works. Hold a second, maybe this one's actually would be better. Not quite sure who's gonna... So only this guy's gonna be effective? Oh! Okay. 
If I move you here, then two people will be affected. Yeah, sure, why not? Let's give it a try. See how this thing actually is gonna work. Show me what you got. <laughs> he goes all the way around! <laughs> oh, that's beautiful! Oh, that was perfect! Uh, okay. That was that was perfect. Hmm. This could be also useful. But it's gonna consume two two action points, and I I prefer to waste it actually on the Oh fuck, that was Argentina, not me! Ah shit! Oh well, whatever. Hmm. Yeah, if I'm gonna use this shit, then I won't be able to do, do the, 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 the thingy. So let's just do the other thingy. Huh. Okay, you're outside of my range anyway. So now it's. Screw you! Fire! <laughs> 25. Good job, Argentina! <laughs> Good job indeed. Yeah, why don't I just use this shit? Ah, it, it's, it has to be a. Uh, it, it actually has to be a target. Oh, cannot do anything else. Uh, okay, cast it on the main hero. Perfect. Here they come. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get closer. Do you honestly think? Do you honestly think that the sniper rifle did? <laughs> needs to make its life this much easier because I think you're mistaken over here. Right, perfect. Be gone. <laughs> that was just anticlimactic. Uh, okay, I can try to charge. Word of the Emperor. Allies when the Allies circle radius gain resolve. Sure, why not? Naturally. In the name of the Emperor! Word of the Emperor. Nice. Okay, and it's time for the main boy. No, I don't think you'll be able actually to do anything. I mean, you can try to shoot somebody, right? With your, with your pistol. I mean, most of the time you one shot anybody anyway, so... Why not, right? Like, if I recall, whatever, whatever Abelard shoots, he either hits or he kills. There's no middle ground with him. It's just that. Uh, okay, do this. And can I tell the fuckers to actually... Oh, that won't work. I will do my okay, whatever. Use the other skills. Right, back to Argentina. Hmm. I don't think she can actually... Well, we can damage those guys. Oh. Hey, why not? Fire! <laughs> <laughs> That's a nice shot. Uh-oh. What oh, is a grenade? Oh, my ears are ringing. Did you just decide to walk next to Pascal? Well, that's your problem, man. Not mine. Uh, those guys are behind cover, which is a bit of a problem. Right, fuck it. Sla slaughter this one. Fire. 42. <laughs> just, just in case if you have any dubs that you didn't die yet. Oh, 57. Nice. Yeah, 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 keep coming, keep coming. I think it's already waiting with a loaded border. With your name on it. I mean the bullets. Goodbye. This is not even a challenge. This is a walk in the park. What the fuck? <laughs> Intimidation. Next area, I think the... Nah, it will be fine. We don't need that thing. Okay, can we lure more of those guys around here? Yes, we can. Sure. Get out of cover, please. I like how they just charged towards that thing. <laughs> okay. Now, who wants to die? Never mind. I cannot fire again. Well, that's a disappointment. Abelat, could you be please so nice and finish off this mission? Oh, wow, this is the first time when actually Abelat missed. This, this was the first time. Oh wow. Okay, well Argentina missed. That's 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 nothing new. That's how it's seen nothing new. Goodbye. Well, that wasn't much of a challenge. They fear to look at me Okay. So what we got? Scraps of typical prison food to repost of innocence. Alright, so what are we doing here with? The remains of a meal. One Far too lavish for even a hive ward, let alone a prison colony. Huh, interesting. A long string of name, extending beneath the heading Top Quarry Workers of the Cycle. 
Yeah, definitely you should have come here at the very beginning of the of the adventure. <laughs> not almost at the not at, at its end. I fell at that shit, that's for sure. What's this? Prison Diary of Atishan, part one. Gross chicks, why me? Why? I missed my title time payment 12 years ago. 12 years! The Spectre. Rit got lost somewhere in the bowels of the planetary administrator and was lying there his whole time. But they made sure to remember to tack uh, on the finance every month. By the time they found the blasted paper and finally informed me, the total sum was so obscene I would take three generations of my descendants if I had any to pay it off. My fate was sealed. Child sentence prison. All because of some daft rotted, rotted who shoved my paper in the wrong box. To be fair, I think I got off pretty easy. My bed in the barracks is about as hot as that slab of rocket I have got back at home. Working the quarry isn't, uh, isn't much tougher than my old job, and the rules? <laughs> Boy, take me. That old sword that governs Rikos Manoris is a bloody sadness by com comparison. Did I just put it by mistake into the fucking cargo? Ah, shit. Just be sure that you're not going to rush a little bit forward, because, well, you never know whether there's going to be a trap or not. Hmm, interesting. Toxic damage. Yeah, maybe I maybe I should actually start to use consumables. I haven't been using consumables since like ever in this game. The only time I've actually used consumables was back at the tutorial level <laughs> at the very beginning of the game. Poster. The grease stained edges of the poster. Uh can you give me like a second? The touch ever so slightly, it appears that it was frequently removed and rehunked. The fuck? Oh, I found something behind. Improved auto pistol. Prisoner shank. Oh, that doesn't, that doesn't look that bad. I, combat, I completely forgot that I gave myself the plasma rifle. <laughs> Whoops. The fuck is this? Cages? Those cages have been placed in plain view of all the beds instead of traces of blood and excrements. Ugh! One goes over here. Okay, this time don't put it into the into the fucking uh, cargo. Wait, can I grab it from the cargo? Please tell me I can actually grab it from a car from the cargo. It has to be somewhere over here. Uh, did I have lost the paper? <laughs> Sorting data from the newest to oldest. I hope I've moved that shit. Ah, there it is. Thank God. Okay, what's the other? Haha, <laughs> I swear, the Emperor hasn't forsaken me. Guess who just came down to shuttle gangway among the first bunch of prisoners? Cleansing, torn, damned, well, yeah. Former the Stratum Cleric. No, THE Cleric. The very same scum who lost the, r <laughs> the right about the missing payment. He's the reason I'm in this hole. Don't know what they threw him for in, but I've never felt better in my life. He's not just behind the same bus as me. He's the fresh meat, and I've... I've Venerable Optimate, respected by everyone in the colony. The war that just came up with a new improvement. From now on, anyone who underperforms, misbehaves, or causes trouble, any other way is will be punished by the community. Specifically by the local best and brightest. Used surely <laughs> the Optimates! <laughs> oh, the Emperor works in different ways, apparently! Bare beds made from metal sheets uh, swing back and forth on used chains. Whatever is forced to sleep uh, on them, it would not take much for them to fall. Jesus. I mean, what did I expect? This is the fucking prison inside of the of the borders of the Imperium. Yeah, like, the, all of this thing is not even a surprise to me. To be honest with you, if I recall, when I ever played ring playing games located in, in inside of uh, Warhammer Universe, I never actually thought of how would the prisons look like. I always thought that if you were like a... If you perform any crimes, you just get executed on the spot. <laughs> I don't know why they thought that thing. <laughs> uh, what's this? The beds here are bolted to the floor. Some have thin, torn bed sheets and even tethered pillows. Woo! Ah, looks like I found the shit there. <laughs> okay, get Cassia over here. Oh wait, you actually, actually got 46 hit points. The last time when I checked, you had like 24. Hey, that's an improvement! Okay, didn't find anything else? Apparently. 
Okay, you guys go slowly so forward. Your physical fitness is impressive, Master Versarian. I take it your position as Seneschal is extremely demanding. Young man, Rosette or no, stop lavishing these condescending compliments on me. If I were your age, you would be no match for me. Uh, but I'll shoot over there. Like, you, you guys in one team, okay? Can you try not to murder one another? I mean, if if Abelard is this dangerous on his current age, I, I really don't want to see him at his prime. What the fuck is this? Oh. The goods. Yeah, you don't say. Oh, no. Lord Warp. Simba before the beers effeminate sent the dark forces of chaos. The chopped up slabs of flesh have been prot and washed of any blood. I'm scared. I should have known prisonary at uh, part three. All that ch chanted from the warden was going to bring nothing but trouble. No noble, no matter how brammy, would pull anything with the sword, but that man. He started with the little thing. The warden would came back to Dalek as he did. Expect he used to ask us questions uh, before, and now he was mostly guessing ceremonies. Some gibberish about a path of perjuration, the sanctuary of sacrifice, sink with blinded eyes. Listen and I nodded. Yes, Master Warden. Of course, Master Warden. He gladly said whatever rubbish he wanted. As long as the tasty optimate meals kept coming, I thought everyone else was doing the same. Nothing just to please the big man. I was wrong. After that, people in the barracks started to yapping on about. Yapping about what? Uh. Info. Uh, what I was left? But I started yapping on a projection blindness too. Apparently, us optimists were no longer just the warden's favorites. We were, Emperor, forgive me, prophets of some kind who were meant to save the rest of this of this sorry lot or awaken them or make them see some rubbish along those lines. People were now accept to make sacrifices to optimates. Yesterday, a sap who slept in the bed under my me is my first year here cut off his own damn ear and crowded on his knees towards me. He had me the ear and begged me for the forsaken him when the faithful hour came. What in front I'm supposed to do with them here? Why is everyone, every single one, staring at me all the time? The warden said that this time it was night, that fate had truly great, great things in store for the optimates. I went to look for uh, how my good friend Clancyne was doing. He hadn't spoken for three months ever since I had all his top teeth ripped out. He spoke today. He looked straight at me and said, Dead man. I kept hitting him until he hurt. Until he hurt me. Now, my fist and feet are, are bruised. Half the barracks has stood there and watched. And prayed. I'm scared. <laughs> uh. Well, shit. Prison guard key. That'll be useful, I guess. Severed human body parts. Ugh. Why? Why cannot chaos be like nice for once? I'm asking too much. Drink by number of horrid muzzles. Dozens of victims were slain here. Yeah. Figure out that thing on my own, I guess. And no secrets. That's a disappointment. Yeah, nothing found. Okay, people, rig her up. We are leaving this shit! Wait, wait, wait. Wasn't that like a next door thingy? Hold on a second. Oh! Thank you. Wakey, wakey! Uh oh. My brethren, the downest night, the optimist will guide us into new existence. Well, I should have not walked into this shit. Hello? Yes, yes, my dear brethren, have a taste of my steel. Uh, oh, I have locked for this, my dear brethren. What the fuck? Prisoner, thank the throne, normal looking faces. We thought we were going to die here with the nutters. The old man with a gap, gap toothed smile dropped his weapon and holds out his hand in a place gesture. Please don't shoot us, yes, noble. <laughs> Your nobleness, let us speak a word. Well, this is a welcoming change. Talking before shooting. Still, Lord Captain, the look on this ragtag bunch hardly inspires truth. 
You give me a reason not to execute it on the spot. I came across a void ship in the system belonging to your associates. They told me some interesting things about you and your planet escape. The man grunts, coughs, and makes his mind. Well, now that's out of the bag. Our fellows, fellows were supposed to come get us uh, a long time ago, but they tied up somewhere the void crack his gold with them. And all this time we had to wait. This happened! Pardon me for trying to pull the same wool over you. It's just that we went nothing to do with the whole water nonsense. So, what now? Let us go. Give me a reason not to execute you on the spot. Here's the deal, you'll be honest. Quite, quite in inmates. We didn't want the riot. What? Well, sitting it out wasn't really an option either. The warden lab dogs made short work of those who refused to join the festivities, so we had to, you know, play along. But that was all the, w <laughs> but that was all it was. Play. We never meant to offense to Governor Mediac, nor the lawful authority of House Winterscale. Give us a chance, eh? We just want to wait until everything blows over and we can go back to our cells and quietly do the rest of our time. Does the fact that the Seraphs is presently confirmed that Terraform has previously betrayed the trust of the Imperium servants needs to be virtualized? Or is evident at the light? Persons unintended in the sacred mysteries of logic. A repentant, honest heretic. How novel. Judging by Abel's tone, his sentinel is utterly unimpressed by the old man's interrogating monologue. The lowborn speech is muttered to colors that concealed his true darker hoods. The old man has a long story of lies, and he is using his wills as on, on us as well, but I see no foul corruption or ill intent in his words. Speech muttered with colors and colors to true darken. The old man has a long history of lies, and he is using his wills. So he's lying about the about the fact that he didn't want to do this shit. But he speaks true that he doesn't want to be here anymore. Tell me more about the warden and the riot. So you're talking a heretic, but you resist heretics. The warden and his prison, noble master Castigelia, were a crockpot from the start. The previous warden ranked things the proper way. Prayer, one meal a day, work. A bunch of the coppers from the guards, work again. But the new one? Do you know what the first decree was? He introduces lunches and dinners. By the name Devils, that's three meals a day! The man was obviously stacking rabbit mad! <laughs> Things only then one now here from that. The guards quit with the thief punching, the warden forbid them. Instead, the overseers started counting which prisoners were digging up more things in the quarry or swinging their pickaxes harder on what not. And then, would you believe it, they put together a list of the best workers. And if someone on the list has showed good behavior, then that's when they've got promoted to optimate. That's the upper crust among us jailbirds. First, then the warden decided to optimate, not the guards. Wait, what? Then the warden decided it's the optimates, not the guards, who should be in charge, charge of punishments. And that it wasn't the overseer's job to watch the prisoners work. It was the optimates. Well, let me tell you. That's when the goody two shoes really started to shine. The guards aren't even in the same league as our deal. Uh, are dear fellows, the optimates. In the old days, we had maybe five or ten shifts kicking in a week. And now, well, now we are lucky if it was only fifty. What the Casilla moved out of his chambers and lived right in the quarry, under the dome. And I think something his new home really scrambled in his brain. He began spouting the wildest things, like in the opti optimates are saints. Who will behold the truth? Started uh, talking them to the quarry. And not all of them returned. The ones who did, you wouldn't recognize them. More best than men. They were bu butchering people left and right, even guards and overseas. The warden himself had armed them. And that's the whole sob story. But I know it from the moment he let us have diners. Oh, this won't end well. If I spare you, what I gain from it? Ah, ah, ah. Love Jabe's cop to uh, Tank Noble's self, thinking, uh, see, us here, we'll, uh, how should I put it? Different from the rest of the prisoners in the space. We are pretty fierce from Rickard Minoris, Debitors, Counter Strips. Then no, then no one serious. Now, we, yet nobleness, are cut from a different clot altogether. Clot cut together. We fortune seekers from the void. Why don't we tell you uh, you were our footfall station? You know, footfall. The only shipyard and the best market in all corners expense. Yeah, so. We're on footfall, you can find some very serious business-minded people. And how you can get yourself a very special discount from uh, from them on some very special goods. 
what kind of very serious people. The most serious kind, you nobleness. Have you heard about the Fellowship of the Void? Right, my intelligence is the expense. There is no uh, leader, of course, but the yeah. So th we already met with them, and the guy that's on board of the ship actually told us that well, if you're gonna get stranded on a planet and you want to go towards towards the warp, well, you have to count on the followships of the void. So Hendrix tilts his head slightly to one side, listening in internally. Very well, I shall spare you. Great, uh, get to hear numberless, just great. Now that is the true aristocrat, not what, not that warden crap. Now then, yellow numbers, where was I? If you're ever on Footfall Station, there's this district there, the Shadow Quarters. It's called that because it's located behind the statue of our all holiest emperor. And now folks who call it sometimes else, also on an account of being behind the statue. Don't repeat their mistakes, I tell you. The Evanet hypnosis was at no time finding and burning them all. Wait, what? There's a district there, the Shadow Quarters. It's called that's because it's located behind the statue of our holiest emperor. I've known folk who called it something else. Also, on account of it being behind the statue. Don't repeat their mistake, I tell you. Revenant Hinarchus wasted no time finding and burning them all. Oh, okay, so don't call the statue of the emperor something else. Forgive that man for getting discarded. So, footfall, the shadow quarters, there's a bar there, built into the remains of an old ship. And in the bar, in the back room, a certain Riza does not her business. Tell her grandpa Bechval say, says hello. You'll be her favorite client in the blink of an eye. Uh, there we are. Well, your yeah, nobleness, we'll be going now, if you don't mind. Old Riza, the most well-known fans on footfall. I was hoping to hear a new name. You may go. I shall not leave you here to die in the hands of the warden's henchmen. Tell, go my pilot that this is the Lord Captain's order, that you be sent to my ship, you join my ship crew, you have my personal pardon as a rogue trader. Well, I want to be heretical, and I don't want to be dogmatic, so we have to go with this one. Huh, well that's worth it to actually go back and open up the door. <laughs> and look at that! Demolish! Can you like next time give me a minute to, I don't know, make clear of the explosion? Oh. Well, hello there. Very interesting. Melee weapon. Okay, I'll be taking that shit, thank you very much. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, when weather uses endure, they immediately remove one of their effects on them following the in the following order. Burning toxic bleeding. Okay, that sounds nice. To the main level. Okay, so why is this shit here? Ah, I'm back here. Okay, we got a bridge. So last time I wanted through here. Interesting. Uh, corpses of unified decoration with first scale cuts of ah winter scale. Wait, why there is... Why there's this green shit over here? What the fuck? I was able to select something here. What, we're supposed to go down there? Oh! Yep, we're supposed to go down there. The dead guard did not even have time to drive a weapon. The attack must have come as a, as a surprise. To the open pit. I'm supposed to be wary of something? Oh, never mind, that was quick. What the f... Oh no, not this shit again. The thing that I really don't like is this green sludge over here. You know why? Because if I see green sludge, the, the immediate thing what I think about is... <laughs> it's Nurgle. And from all of the house gods, I think Nurgle will be probably like the worst to fight with. And Slanesh. Yeah, Nurgle and Slanesh. Maybe maybe that in that, that actual order. Like, so yeah, I've... I've, I've if, I'm, I'm actually afraid that it's going to be Nurgle down here. I hope it's not going to be Nurgle. I pray to the god that this is not going to be Nurgle. But anyway, that's going to be a closer man. We're going to probably find out during the future episodes because right now I'm working on my record time, so I have to lose the same cause over here. If you want to try this one off again yourself, you know what to do. It's going to be linked in social loss always. Okay, can't give that try. Don't you think? If you're not closer man, well, for now, I'm going to do this thing. As of here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you've liked, subscribe a lot. Up to you all in the next video.